Good afternoon. Welcome to our making our making a mobile deposit from Achieve Credit Union. Thank you everyone for attending. Let's go and get started here. I know a few people are rolling in here, but it's now three o'clock. So let's go ahead and start the webinar. So today's webinar is presented by me. My name is Ben Vo. I am the Digital Product Manager and been with Achieva since 2016. I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar. Thank you for attending. A couple things to note here. If you have a question, please feel free to use your console to raise your hand, and we'll go ahead and meet you if you want to speak and ask your question. If you'd rather not speak and you'd rather type in your question, please do so um, by clicking on question here and then typing in the question in this box and followed by send. Once you do that, we'll collect your questions and then we'll we'll answer it and we'll let everybody know what your question is for you. So make, just in case others may have the same questions. With that being said here, making a mobile deposit, what do you need? First, you need to be registered for online banking. I know most of you may not be registered, but we do have the ability, we have had a registration webinar earlier and we do have it recorded for you and I'll go over there here in just a minute. But you do also have to download our mobile app, which is available for iPhones and Android. The app itself is available for both not only your smartphones, but also your tablets, and those devices will need a camera. And of course, you'll need to have a check too if you're making a mobile deposit. And you don't have to just make one check. You can, you can make several checks at a time if you'd like. And the benefits here is you're allowed to make mobile deposits from anywhere, from your couch at any time, maybe after dinner, before dinner, whenever you feel like necessary. And the great thing about it is depending upon, and I'll get more into this in a, little, in a little bit, but the funds can be available to you that same day or the next business day, depending upon where you, the time which you actually made your deposit. So again, with the registration here, in case you missed it, we did have a webinar that spoke about that. But if you did miss it though, you can register at achievacu.com and we click the register now button, there will be a video that shows and, and walk you through the registration process. So I hope you do register for mobile and online banking. One of the questions I get quite a bit here is, I'm not sure what kind of phone I have, right? And then the our app is supported on both iPhones and Androids. And the best way I can describe it, if you certainly have an iPhone, is look for the vendors or manufacturers logos, right? The only Manufactured for iPhone is Apple, and look for the Apple icon. As for Android, though, there are a lot of different manufacturers, from Samsung to LG and many more. And one of these things I want to note here is that the Android manufacturers sometimes add their own overlay, their own interface above, beyond what Google has made, because they are the developers of the Android operating system. But regardless, though, our mobile app is supported on both the iPhone operating system and the Android operating system. And when we walk through these slides here, I will show when, when it's appropriate, I will show the difference between what it would look like on an iPhone versus what it looks like on an Android device. But just a key note here, if you are an iPhone user, the differences we've shown on your left, and if you're an Android user, I'll show your differences on the right-hand side of the screen. So just as we move along here next, slides, and then followed by the slide presentation, I will actually do a live demo on both devices. Is to stick around for that, please. So now, how do you access our mobile deposit? Well, on an iPhone, you would, on either device, excuse me, you'd launch the widget, but where you find the widget on iPhone is the bottom, are all the widgets aligned across the bottom, and you click on deposit check. How it's different on the Android is, you actually have to click on the left menu up at the top, and then it will show you your menu and all your widgets that are available to you, and then you'd click on deposit check on the Android. Next, what you see here is our disclosure. And if you're a first time user of our mobile deposit product, you have to review the disclosure once and just only once, but this will appear for you for the first time if you've never used this product before on your mobile app. So what you do is you click on the accept button. And on the next screen here, what you'll see is selections of the available accounts that we allow for mobile deposit. Now, on the iPhone here, I show on the screen here, it's only one account, and then on the Android, there's multiple accounts. What this really means is the fact that 
regardless if you're on the iPhone or the Android operating system, we allow for multiple accounts for you to make a mobile deposit in. I just want to make sure that everyone's aware that our mobile deposit is supportive for both personal relationships, for personal checking and savings, and also business members is available to you as well and to be able to make a mobile deposit within your checking or business savings accounts. But on this screen here, when you first access the mobile app, after you accept the exclusion the first time, you will then be asked to select the account which you want to make the deposit, mobile deposit into. And then our notice comes up. This will come up every time you launch the mobile deposit widget. And then when you actually select the account, this is a guide for you to remember things to keep in mind here. And here's where it talks about when you can expect your funds to be available. So our cutoff time, as I mentioned, there's a cutoff time is 4 p.m. On, on a business day, Monday through Friday. And if you make your mobile deposit at 4, 4 p.m., it should be available to you, barring any issues with your check or the mobile deposit itself, 7, by 7 p.m. that same day. If you do it after 4, 4 p.m., not a problem at all. It should be available to you the next following business day before 7 p.m. as well. But one thing I do want to highlight to you is that it's important to follow the guidance. And one of the things that a lot of people miss out on is adding this part of their endorsement. And if you do not follow the guidance here, it may delay your check from being available to you in your account. So please keep that in mind. So after the notice, when you go to the next screen, of course, you click the done. And this is true. This screen is the same for both iPhones and Android. It's just like the following screen. And now that you selected for this webinar here, the example I'm going to use, example here, excuse me, I'm going to use here is the savings account. So, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to first tap on the amount because you want to enter the amount, which is right here on your screen. And then for this webinar example, we're going to deposit a dollar. The next step here is that we want to take a picture of the, from the check. And the way we do that is tap on the icon check front. And if it's your first time using a mobile deposit, the app's going to ask you for permission to your camera. It needs to have access to your camera to be able to take the picture of the check. And that's what it's going to do here on the next screen, is take a picture in front of your check. Now, our app only uses your camera for mobile deposits. It doesn't use it for anything else. The camera, when you're in our app, won't be used or won't be active unless you go into the mobile deposit widget. And on the iPhone, to allow this, you click, of course, OK. On the Android, you'd click Allow. And in your settings, though, in the future, if you want to disallow this access, you can do that within your phone setting for our mobile app. If you hit don't allow or deny, then it's not going to be able to, you're not going to be able, excuse me, to use our mobile app for the mobile deposit. So now the screen here, these are two example screenshots of taking a picture of the front of the check. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that the check is centered and the line at the bottom here helps you to guide you through and making sure that you get enough of the picture inside the box there, this white box that you, you may be able to see here on your screen. The mobile app will, once you have in the per position, will automatically take the photo for you. If it's having trouble do that, it will then give you the option to manually take the picture yourself. So now it's time to take a picture of the back of the check. And how you would do that is you would actually tap on the back of the check back. And then now it's going to use the camera again and ask you to take the picture of the back check. Same thing as the front of the check. It's going to provide you a guidance box with a red bar to help you guide you, navigate you through, and make sure that it can automatically take a picture of your check for you. And again, if it's not able to do that, it'll give you the option to manually take the picture yourself. And then once you have all, you've selected your account, you enter your amount and take the pictures of the front and the back, the next thing you'll do is tap on deposit check. If for any reason you did not put the amount in or you do not have either picture, this box will be grayed out to you and it will not let you tap on deposit check. So it won't let you move forward until it has all the information it requires for you to make the deposit. So you pick deposit check, 
Your next screen will show up as a confirmation. It will provide you your confirmation number. From here, you can deposit another check if you'd like, or you click OK. For our webinar, we're going to click OK, and then we're going to move to the next screen here. And what I want to highlight on the next screen is that you can see what has been done in for the iPhones on the history screen, all your past checks, if you ever used the mobile app to make a deposit. And on the Android, you click on activity. And that only will show you the check itself, the line item for the check, but also gives you a um, image of what picture you taken so you can see what the check was that you had deposited using our mobile app. Now it's time for a live demo, but let me check our chat box here to see if there are any questions or if anyone has their hand raised to like to ask a question. So I apologize if I missed you and you already were waiting with so patiently with their hand raised. So I don't see any questions in the chat, nor do I see anyone with the raised hand. So okay, now it's time for our live demo. So what I'm going to start first on our live demo is going to pass along here to our iPhone to show you what, I what it would look like on the iPhone. So pardon me here while I get this set up. So I'm just logging in. As you can see here, this is my screen on my iPhone. Again, to get started here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Deposit Check. It's asking me, like, I sh like you saw on the presentation, what account would I like to deposit into. I'm going to go ahead and pick the only account that's available to me for this demo is this. Again, the notice pops up. As you can see, it reminds you what the cutoff time is, reminds you how to endorse the check. I'm going to now click done. The I'm going to skip for now, just as for demonstration purposes, skip over the amount, entering the amount, so you can see that it won't let you go forward. But you can go ahead and take a picture of the front. And I apologize, I'm going to black out for a second. Maybe this will work. Excuse me. Here, and then I'm going to go take a picture of this voided check. And there, as you saw, it took it automatically for me. And now I'm going to go switch and do the back of the check. And I'm going to move it, and there it goes. It took it automatically for me. And as you see here, because I did not check, I mean, excuse me, you're typing the amount of the check, it can't, I, the, the deposit check area is grayed out. So let me go ahead and enter a dollar for demonstration purposes, and deposit check. We are in a test environment, so things may go a little slower. But there's my confirmation number for the check and where it's deposited it into. I'm going to click OK. And now, this was a check that I showed earlier. I'm going to tap on this is a check I showed you earlier on, a, on the slide presentation. And this is the copy of the check that I just took. With that, this is the iPhone version. So, let's here, there is a question. Pardon me here. So. The question here, let's see again. It says here, excuse me here, it says, on, on the mobile app on my phone, when I tap my account on on the bottom, let's see here, let's do that. And it says, no accounts are available. How do I get my accounts to show up? This means that for some reason here, based upon your, your login, your association to an account is not there. My recommendation is go ahead and give our member service center a call to make sure that your account with your social security number is associated appropriately. And that could be one of the reasons why you don't have any accounts show up because our mobile app and our online mobile experience is social-centric. 
So if for any reason here, there is um, based upon how you registered, based upon your social, there's other criteria here that link to your, maybe perhaps our, um, our system has information about you that's incorrect, like your birthday, for example. So there could be a myriad of reasons that um, you don't have any accounts to show up here. So, but I, my recommendation is go ahead and give our member service center a call and they can walk you through that. So thank you for that question. Let me see if there's any other questions before I hand it over to our Android demo. Oh, there is a question here from Elaine here. Elaine, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Elaine, would you please go ahead with your question? Can you hear me? Let's see here. I'm going to go to our questions panel here. Oh, you are having trouble with your audio. I apologize here. Let's see here. I believe that may have been your question. So, and then Elaine, what I'll do is since I'm, having, I'm struggling here, I'm reaching to you, I will follow with you after our webinar to see how I may assist you. So I do apologize for your technical difficulties. Thank you. So let's go ahead if there's no other questions here. Let me see. Let's see here. So what I'm going to do here now is we're going to switch over a demo on the Google app. I'm sorry, the Android app. Pardon me. Okay. Now this is the experience on our Android devices. So for our Android members here, I'll walk through depositing the same check. Again, we are in a test environment, so it's okay for me to do that. But in a real regular production environment, please do not take a try to deposit your check more than once. I'd recommend going to the History and Activity Center to see if you, that check has already been deposited once. So because I understand sometimes you forget that you've done that. But for, for our demonstration purposes here today, I will do the exact same check. So again, I tap on the menu. I select deposit check, and I would like to choose my account. So I'll choose the same account. And this is the notice that comes up for Android. It's slightly different, but the information is still the same. We still want you to make sure you endorse it correctly and provide the same information as you would on an iPhone. So from here, I'll go ahead and this time just type in the amount that I'm going to do. On the camera. Now, on the Android devices, sometimes the screen blacks out, so I do apologize as I take this picture here. Now I'm done here. As you can see here, give it a second here. I've taken a picture of the front of the check. I'm going to now go to the back of the check, take a picture of the back of the check. As you see here, now I'm going to tap on deposit check. Again, it's a little slower because we are in a test environment, so I do appreciate your patience. But here's the check again, confirmation number, the amount. And we'll have to get that looked at here with the amount missing a zero there, but it's still a dollar. And then this is the check that was in the demo. This is the check. That I know it's the same check. It's a check that I just did on the iPhone, and this is the check I just took on the Android phone. So just to reiterate for you, the fact that functionality is both in saying if you ever find yourself switching from an iPhone to Android, we still provide you the same capabilities to be able to deposit a check. With that, before I move on, I'm going to go check to see if there are any questions on the call. Elaine, I still see that you have a question, but I will reach out to you after our webinar. So, with that, I don't see any other questions being raised. Oh, excuse me here. 
Yes, the, um, that's a great question here. Someone um, sent in a question, asked if, if I don't have a mobile deposit in the mix, can I still use the app? Absolutely, we're gonna have future webinars with other capabilities of our app. And those capabilities will include how to do transfers, bill pay, you can actually see your balances. So our app is fully, is, is a really rich experience for you. You can do a lot of things on our mobile app and even on online banking, which, which will allow you to maybe perhaps save a trip to our, to our, to our branches. We love seeing you at our branches, don't get me wrong. We really appreciate seeing you there, but if you're too busy to come see us, this is why we make this available to you, and especially in today's times where you should stay safe and stay home and feel don't feel the need to leave the house or, or don't want to. Please take advantage of our digital products like our online banking and our mobile app. And in future webinars, I'll show you how to transfer money, have, have the app send you notifications, so that way if you're expecting a deposit, our app and our online bank can tell you that a mobile deposit has been made. So let me see here. Let me go ahead and run through any other questions that there may be here. Excuse me here. Here. Do I still need to register with my social to download the app? Yes, it's the that's a great question. That was asked. The what you need to register will be your social, your um your date of birth and, and your account number. And the reason being is for verification purposes. If you feel uncomfortable doing that, you can always call the member service center and we can register you for you. And and then also at the same time. You can also come in the branch and we're happy to register you for online banking and we'll be there if, if you feel comfortable entering that information on your device. So that's a great question. And with that here, I don't see any other questions, so I will give it back to the presentation. So. So then, yes. So that was our live demo. Thank you for sitting on there. With that being said, if you need help, I'm more than happy to fill in any additional questions here. We are at the 22 minute mark here. We have an additional eight minutes. I'm happy to stay or follow up with anybody. If you'd like me to go ahead and send me a note if you'd like me to follow up with you after a webinar, or if you'd like to go ahead and un be unmute and ask your questions, I'll go ahead and give you a moment to do that. Okay, if there's other questions though, again, this is not the only time, you know, you, you have help with our mobile app, you can always call our member service and the numbers on your screen. You're also available, you know, excuse me, you're also welcome to email us as well. We reach out to you through email. As I mentioned previously, we have more of these webinars scheduled. For example, we'll talk about bill pay and upcoming webinar notifications I mentioned and also pay my loan. So if if any of these are interesting, you, we'll notify you until you sign up like you did today for today's webinar. The other webinars that we were discussing internally is for business services. If our business members are out there and like to understand more about our business products, we'll be hosting those in their near future. As long as fraud protection, too, we'll go over, you know, some of the things you do tech techniques to protect yourself from fraud. That's in the planning stages right now. We'll hope to have that for you soon. With that being said, let me check to see if there's any more questions. Yeah, so, so let's give a quick shout out to Ramona for a great question. Kenneth as well too, thank you. Thank you for choosing I appreciate it. And finally here, there's no other questions here. I hope everyone stay safe and healthy. We'll look forward to talking to you again. Excuse me. With that being said here, I will stay in the line until 3.30. If you wish to drop off, please do so.
if you have any other questions, I'll, I'm here until 3.30 for you. And if you, if our questions run over, that's fine too as well. So I'll give you a few minutes here. I'm going to temporarily mute my line. So thank you everyone. And if you do decide to drop off, I appreciate your attendance and please do again, stay safe. So let's say there's no further questions here. I will now go ahead and end our webinar. Thank you again for attending. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you, everyone. Bye.